So last October, I had the opportunity to go to a conference with the literal elite of elite of vertical farming. I'm talking CEOs, I'm talking NASA, so stay till the end to see some clips of that. My name is Nat, and I'm here to give you an insider look on the world of vertical farming. At Indoor AgCon, as their associate director, I represented iGrow News. iGrow News is a news site that curates indoor ag articles from all across the web. It's a one-stop shop to get all of your vertical farming content. So if you're interested in the latest in ag tech, you should check them out in the link in my bio. And if you came here from the iGrow News site, make sure to comment this emoji so I know to say hi. Remember to subscribe for more indoor ag content and adventures in hydroponics, and let's move forward with our exclusive look inside the world of vertical farming. Genius, smart, brilliant, hardworking, passionate. And these are the people that are choosing incredible careers with big name companies and have left some of those. And, and I tip my hat to them for taking the risk to come change the world. We're still going to be depending on the prepackaged food that we use in the International Space Station now, but that food is going to start to lose efficacy for certain key nutrients. You know, over time, we're going to have to see how do we supplement that in, in a very efficient way. short little break to like recharge my camera and also myself. Okay, not to be a nerd, but like hearing people talk about LEDs and their applications to plant science, like I think that's so cool. And it's so cool. Oh, it's so out of body. It's like you read about these people and they're like cartoons in a story. What I've seen online is now real life and that's so cool. That's insane. I'm definitely the youngest today, at least just from the people I met. People here are so nice, like regardless of how much younger I am, like they treat me as an equal and I don't know, I I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I have so many ideas for like YouTube videos after this. So much, so much fun stuff that is happening in ag tech and just revolutionizing food systems and I'm in the middle of it. And you guys are here with me in the middle of it too. And that's so cool. The logic behind our architecture is to eliminate an entire leg of transportation and that eliminates quite a lot of risk between both from a food safety perspective, just transportation challenges that we're seeing, and then putting a very fresh product on the shelf. Substrate has been almost like a black box. You don't know really what is going inside that black box. The most important thing is improving the substrate. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon O'Malley. I'm co-founder and CEO of Rich Street Farms. And our hubs are a combination of eight NFT uh, indoor hydroponic farms that are fully automated in combination with on-site production and experiential retail. I'm from uh, Harvest Today. We uh, have invented a new product called a Harvest Ball. We want to be able to bring indoor anchors uh, growing to everybody. We're the pump people. Because every system needs water. Every plant needs water. We circulate your water. <laughs> Hi, my name is Michelle Spencer, and I work in the Space Center, and I serve as a uh, horticulturist in the space crop production facility. We're spreading a lot of crops to see how well they grow and to hopefully funnel the same crops into space hardware such as veggie and the advanced plant habitat. 
Thank you so much. Our goal is to grow something greater. It's your job to grow the perfect head of lettuce, and it's my job to grow the perfect heads for that lettuce. So together, we're gonna do this from the Bronx to the world, right here from Indoor Agcon. See, si, se puede. Greens Girl Team, and I am one of the industry's uh, microgreen experts. Uh, we are the largest indoor ag manufacturer based in China. We specialize in LED cultural lighting, like you see behind me here, as well as our vertical hydroponics as well. So, when I go on the mission in the markets, now I'm looking at something that's going to be significantly longer. Now there's a problem because pre packaged food begins to degrade and key nutrients after 18 months. Human health and performance is really fragile. Right so to wrap this video up i just wanted to thank everybody for watching and coming along this vertical farming journey with me Special shout out to all the indoor ag people. They did an absolutely killer job organizing this whole conference, especially with the pandemic. And they were so nice to me and helped me around and they're just like, did such an awesome job. So yeah, shout out to them. Also shout out to all the really nice, cool people that I met. Um, But yeah, thank you so much for making this experience literally once in a lifetime and something that I'll never forget. If you like this video, subscribe for more content just like this. You should comment your favorite part and also let me know what you want in the future so I can make that for you. Like I always say, if you guys help me out, I mean, we all grow better together. So thank you again for watching and have a nice day.